I am here to inspire, enlighten, and build up humanity. Although some of you may think that some of my messages aren't very inspiring, it's one thing to be inspired. It's another thing to have your head in the sand like an ostrich so you don't see what's going on. We don't want to deny reality. We do want to envision what we desire our life to be like our future, our country, our world. And to do that, we must first see the reality of the way things are today, but have a vision of something better. I was thinking about what Tate was talking about, the slave mind. It's similar to what they were fighting against in the 60s. The man, they called it. The man, big brother. Some of you may have never heard of those terms. Big Brother is always watching. Now Big Brother is censoring. Big Brother is watching too. Big Brother is a term they use to refer to the government, the, the authority, the controlling power. I was also thinking about the wars. Who fights the wars? The common people, the working man, the young man from ages 18 to I'm not sure how high they go, let's say 30 years old. They fight the wars and the rich get richer. The government stays safe. And how many times are the wars really because we are being threatened as a society, as a culture? Now I can only go by what I studied about World War II but that seemed to be a real threat to the world, Hitler. But there again, Hitler wanted to rise to power. He wasn't the one on the front lines dying. Millions of people died as a result of that war because of someone's lust for power. Most wars, if not all, are because someone has a desire for more. And that person that has a desire for more, at least in our common time in modern ages, is never the one on the front line. Thousands of years ago, it was different. The leaders were actually on the battlefield in some cases, but now they sit behind the desk and order people to be killed and ask our young men to sacrifice their lives for what? For freedom or for financial gain? When you live in a prosperous first world country like we live in here in the US, it's so easy to just ignore that as long as we're getting what we want. We don't think about the millions of other people around the world who are starving because someone is taking the food out of their mouths. Even though we contribute to people all over the world, a lot of that, those contributions never get to the people that they're supposed to get to because the own governments, their own governments take them away from them and sell them for money or profit or use them themselves. These things happen all the time. Fortunately, some of these uh, contributions do get to the people. But we seem to be so, as I said, removed from it because we live in this comfortable paradise of a society and we complain. I also heard Tate talking about that also, and I've spoken of this myself. We complain about things here that are just ridiculous. We live in such a abundant society, we have an overweight and obesity rate of 70 to 75%. The average weight of modern woman in the US is 175 pounds. Now that's a stat that was quoted by, I can't remember who quoted it, but you can look it up yourself. I'm not sure if it's correct, but I know in my area, I'm sure it's correct if it's not more than that. Because there are very few people around here, less than 1% I would say are in physical shape, fit. I mean, where they could run a mile and do 50 push-ups or 50 setups. Very, very few people here can do that. And being physically fit is more than just not being overweight. 
I've been told that they're having a hard time actually getting soldiers because they're so soft, they can't go through the rigorous training they used to be able to go through. Their bones are not strong enough. Once again, it goes back to our comfortable society. And what's the old saying? Strong men make good times. Good times make weak men. Weak men make hard times. We're heading for some hard times eventually. Whether we will see it in my lifetime or not, I don't know. It's possible. There seems to be such a blatant dishonesty in the government with no accountability. It just amazes me. The one good thing, and there are many good things, I don't want to focus just on the bad, is we have social media. Now that can be a double-edged sword, but the truth about some things get out now to a vast majority of people that never would have gotten out before. Even when Kennedy was killed, that was all censored. The newspapers were controlled, and all of that information is, is uh, how do they say, sealed up until it's like 2034, five or nine, I can't remember, I watched a documentary on that the other day. By that time, everybody that was involved or had anything to do with it will be dead. <clears throat> so I know many of you don't trust the government. Who trusts the government? But yet many of you trusted the government and believed when they said that uh, there was a health crisis and you needed to do a certain thing to stop that health crisis. Well, we found out later that that wasn't true. That didn't stop that um, problem we had for the last two or three years. Governments are formed by the people, and I believe the government of the United States was formed with a good intentions, and it's a perfect ideal, which we will never accomplish, but we have to continue to move towards that. I don't like to get into politics. I don't know a lot about it. I just know what I see, but then again, you have to be careful there also because everything is slanted to the side of whichever group wants you to, how they want you to see it. So what's the old saying? Don't, don't believe half of what you read. Don't believe what you read. Well, anyway, basically, you know, the media is more for drama than anything. So remember that when you watch it, it's more like going to the movies. They're not as concerned about the truth as they are concerned about getting ratings. But obviously we have some serious problems in our government. And you, the young people, ages 15, 20, 25, it's up to you guys. You can just enjoy the paradise and the abundance and the luxury and watch everything go to hell around you and end up living like a lot of people do in the world today. Most of the people live in the world today or you can try to do something about it. You can stand up and protest in whatever way you feel is proper, whatever it takes to get things straightened out. And I'm not telling you what that way is. I'm not sure myself. I don't know what it's going to take. But things seem to be bad, I know they do, but things always get worse before they get better. So be encouraged. A lot of people in the government are bringing things to light. So not everybody in the government is bad, so to speak. And even the people who do things that we don't like, who are dishonest and, dis <clears throat> and disingenuous, try not to be resentful against them because they're doing the best they can. I know it doesn't seem like that, but if you had to walk a mile in their shoes, you may find out why they do some of the things they do. doesn't make it right, but until you've been in someone's shoes, it's hard to understand why they take the path they do. And if you believe as I do that whatever goes around comes around, you don't have to worry about if they will be paid back for their supposed wrongs. No one escapes the laws of the universe. No one. You may escape the laws of the land, but no one escapes the laws of the universe. So be encouraged. If you want a better world, a better government, the place to start is within yourself. Make yourself better. Work on you. 
clean out the inside. Get rid of the garbage that you carry around every day. If you're overweight, if you're an alcoholic or a drug addict, that's just a symptom of what's going on inside of you. And our government and the problems we have there is a symptom of what's going on in every individual in the U.S. We have somewhat of a spiritual sickness in the U.S. Our morality is dropping. And if you look back throughout the pages of history, all great nations, countries, empires, the morality starts dropping and eventually the country implodes. It basically destroys itself. And that is the direction we're heading. But a lot of people are recognizing it, as I said, so we can change that direction. But as I said, it begins within you and me. It's easy to sit back here and criticize. I've done enough of that myself. But it's harder to look within yourself and be critical of yourself and see what you need to be changed to make your world and your environment better by changing yourself. It all begins within you. Like and subscribe. I'll talk to you later. Take care.